Right, I'm just going to try and show you how to switch off Windows Defender in um, Windows 10 computers. What you need to do is pr press the Windows key down and R at the same time. It's going to be difficult to do with my left hand because I'm right handed. Let's see. There you go, it worked. By doing that, you get the run box to open up. In there, you want to type <clears throat> gpedit. MSC and click OK and then you get the local let me just move a few of these other windows out of the way so you don't get too confused uh, all right there you go then you get this up there it says local group policy editor can you see that okay now you want to oh, let me move that out of the way so you can see go to administrative templates expand that so click on the little arrow there okay next expand Windows components so click on the little arrow there where it says Windows components click on that and that expands again find Windows Defender down here so just use the scroll wheel on your mouse or you can drag that if you want and again, if you need to move to make that a bit bigger so you can see, do that. Windows Defender, Antivirus. So select that. And then this right hand pane opens up. Let's just move that so we can actually read a few of the things that are in there. That opens up on the right. Let me get that out of the way. Okay. Find Turn Off Windows Defender. Turn Off Windows Defender Antivirus is there. So select that. Sorry, double click on that. I just clicked on it once. Double click. So let me do that again. If I double click on that, there you go. Then you get this other window opens up, which at the top says Turn Off Windows Defender Antivirus. Next, you want to do is select Enabled. Enabled, yep. Yeah. And then go to apply and click OK. Now Windows Defender is switched off. And there are many reasons to switch off. You might be in the middle of installing another antivirus product uh, which clashes. Um, some games cause problems with Windows Defender. I use malware, Bytes Anti Malware. Um, Again, you don't want too many different antivirus on your computer, so there's many reasons to switch off your antivirus. And I've just shown you one way to switch it off. Obviously, if you want to then switch it back on, go back through those steps and uh, switch it back on. Right, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.